please subscribe to the channel thank you hi friends welcome to free online tech videos in this video session we are going to learn about um, expr command my name is ravi so i'm going to explain this expr command in this session let's see that what is this expr command do expr command is used to evaluate the mathematical logical expressions or any expressions like um, matchings or indexing or uh, substring or uh, doing some mathematical stuff you can do that using the xpr you can also do a lot of stuff using the xpr command but um, we are going to see most of them in this video session let's see that how we are going to write it or how we are going to do that expressions on uh, using expr command x example say that expr command and provide these expressions here expression okay so what this this will do is that the expression will be calculated or matched whatever it is what is the operator you are using based on that it will give you the output let's see that expr okay i wanted to um, addition some values example say 5 plus 10 okay so here what we have to do is that whenever you are typing the values here you have to give the space in between the values to values in between you have to give provide the space here okay or else it will give you an error example see here if you do not give any space in between let's say that it will print as it is so it does not execute it properly the values okay so what you have to do you have to give the values like this so any operations like this it will calculate the numbers okay let's example say that the minus value okay 5 minus 19 in a sense minus 94 or example see that maybe i wanted to minus uh, 50 with 34 then the value is 60 you can also do a multiplied by you can use star here but if you use star the star is an a bash expression which takes the terminal in a different ma different way so that that's why what we have to do is that we have to escape this star character which means that you if you escape using the backslash say that whatever the character you put after that backslash it's considered as a nothing okay so it will pass to the expression that expr command okay so 50 into 34 is 17 xpr again you can do some divided by stuff 100 by 5 is 20 expr you can also do a reminder values okay example say if i wanted to do 100 reminder value of 5 is what 0 if you see 6 is what 4 okay if you see maybe 3 is what 1 like that so you can do a mathematical regular expression mathematical stuff using the xpr command but not only these values right so this is the regular stuff like plus minus multiplied by divided by reminder but behind that what is there okay let's see that some logical or operator expr okay i want to see some a logical or or operator okay so which is used by pipe symbol let's say seven pipe r operator by zero what does mean by so any of the one value is should be in a zero value then it will be executed the value which is not zero the first value is zero then it will execute the second value if the second value is zero then you will execute the first value okay let's example say in the same say I wanted to change some values here okay if you say both are zero then it will execute zero itself that's called as an 
logical or operator in the same way we also have the logical and operator the example here it is that okay 7 and 7 example which is equal to value right so it is executing the same value but if i say 0 here it will execute the 0 value so here none of the value should be 0 okay none of the value should be 0 that that value will be executed okay so here we also have the less than values expr example says um, 6 is 6 is less than 7 is it true so if given the value is what if you say 7 is less than 6 it's given value 0 so what does mean by in the tense if the value is exactly correct then the result is either if the expression is 0 the exit status is 0 if expression is neither null nor 0 if the one the expression is null nor 0 ok so it should be little bit careful over here because the value should be confused what is 0 or what is 1 ok expression is 0 which means that neither null nor 0 ok so that was the statement here it is that so you can also use some greater than symbol here like this so if you use 8 here it will give a 0 only so which means that 0 in the sense executed successfully 1 in the sense not executed successfully so that's the value impression gives by the less than greater than or less than or equal to greater than or equal to okay something like this greater than or equal to if it is uh, value is 8 greater than value like this it will provide so if you see less than or equal to okay i can also see sorry first less than then equal to okay if it is 9 then it will also give the same value if it is 7 then it will give you the zero value like that there are other operators as well also in the exp here but i am going to show you, show you something interesting in here okay what is that interesting values exp here can also calculate your word length okay example say that uh, i am ravi kumar what is this word length 12 example say i will add one more so 15 example i will add two more so it is 17 like that it also calculates your length it's also match the regular expression using the match command example say i am writing example ravi in the quotation itself i am writing writing like this ravi kumar and say kumar r kumar so i am just trying to match the ravi value it matched zero okay so here there is no pipe symbol actually it should be executed like this so the value does not work properly so you can also get some regular expression string okay example same like this so it is matched authenticated value is 13 13 characters like that you can use it you can also index the string where any characters is found okay example xpr index the value okay let's say Ravi or Ravi Kumar okay it indexed two values okay you can also say maybe like this so it's a syntax okay we have to give the expression like this okay either one or two okay or you can also do a substring okay substring positions from example same expr i wanted to 
type some substring value here okay uh, I am typing something like uh, free online tech videos then after that what I am doing is that the position is 5 and I wanted to cut 6 character after the position 5 what it's going to do here so position 5 in the sense uh, the 1 2 3 4 okay 4 after 4 the position is 5 5 and after this 6 character is going to cut okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the output should be online see this okay example if I wanted to cut the value something like this uh, 6 6 then it's going to give the 6 values or 6 5 is going to give the y one x or I wanted to cut the 7th position with 4th characters then it's going to be give line this is the expr command examples okay you can uh, do this expr command with the scripting but if you time the scripting example that expr 5 play 5 space plus 10 then it's go not going to give you the exact value but in if you wanted to use a bash scripting or cell scripting you have to write in different way so here are the example how you have to write okay this is the bash script you have to write the you have to pass that command to the terminal using the reverse quotations okay see this what is the output of that file okay plus minus multiplied by divided by reminder and length regular expression and uh, indexing the expression okay this is how the you have to use the expr command all the go okay thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more details or more upcoming videos please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask